Welcome back to KMM Tech. Today we're gonna to do a short video about scene transitions. Um, scene transitions are just a great way to go from one scene to another. We've done a video on groups and scenes. If you haven't seen that one, make sure you check it out. Um, but today we're gonna to talk about scene transitions. So if you go to groups and scenes, um, you'll see that there are a couple options to choose from. There's create new group, there's create new scene, and then there's create scene transition. <clears throat> So that's what we're gonna to do today. I'll show you to, I'll show you one of my scene transitions. I only have one right now, um, and then I'll show you how I created it. That way, you guys can do it in the future. So let's look at my scene transition. You'll see that I, I really like how this is done. Um, the fact that you can see them. I wish they would kind of group them, you know, instead of you know just having this. But the fact that they tell you what they are is really really kind of cool. Um, so here's my scene transition. We're gonna go full to purple. <clears throat> So what you need to have before you start a scene transition is you need to have two scenes at least, because um, you'll see that there is a selecting starting scene and an ending starting scene. Um, so it's it's very simple, very straightforward. This is the um, the name of the of the scene transition. This is the scene that you're starting from, and then this is the scene that you're going to. So in this case, I'm going from my basement full, which is full brightness, um, and then it goes from that to um, purple so it just changes the lights to purple and it, and it dims them quite a bit what I use this for is um, I typically come down to my basement to just start my work I work from home so um, it's usually full brightness that way I can get everything set up and then um, at nine o'clock this scene transition runs and it takes 500 seconds um, and then it just switches from the full brightness to purple and it's kind of neat because if I'm looking at the screen you know, while I'm doing my work, all of a sudden I'll look around and go, oh, wow, it's a lot darker in here. I don't even notice the transition happens. In the past, it was, you know, kind of a, an abrupt thing from the basement to the basement purple. So uh, the transition just kind of takes care of that, which is kind of nice. So uh, I'll show you how, how I did this. Um, so we'll go back to the um, apps page here. So here's my groups and scenes. Just remember that you you do need to have at least two scenes, one that you're starting from and then one that you're going to. So if you go to groups and scenes, um, we were to go down to scene transition. And then we'll name it. And like always, we'll call it delete. And then very simply, it says, what scene do you want to start with? So we'll go from basement full and this time we'll go to basement red. And then I leave the select transition interval in seconds at five, that's just the default. This is um, the transition time in seconds. Wish there was a way to do it, you know, longer, because I, I tend to do longer transitions, but you can do them as short as you want. So we'll just do this one um, to 500. And that's it, it's really that simple. Um, now what you can do because this does <clears throat> basically create it as a as a switch essentially or a device so you can actually go into the dashboard uh, which I have over here and I have no room in my dashboard um, let's get rid of this for a second here actually no wait before we do, let's let's just change one of the ones that we have here so I can take um, this one here and we can change this to a, we'll leave it as a button and then the device we're going to go to uh, delete and close so now when i push this button um, my lights are actually purple now so what will happen is it will when i push the button it will go to the full brightness because that's where the scene starts and then it will slowly transition to red so um, that's how that works. Um, but yeah, you can, you can use it as a button if you wanted to. You could do it, you know, all sorts of different, different ways. Um, but that's it. So yeah, if you have any questions about scene transitions, please don't hesitate to leave a question in the comments below. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and that bell notification so you're notified when new videos are coming out. And if you did like this, make sure you give it a thumbs up so we can um, help grow this community. And um, we'll see you guys next time. Hope all is well. See ya.